Welcome to Spotlight on Clayton. I'm your host, Clayton Mayor Jody McLeod. Thank you for joining us. This edition of Spotlight on Clayton is devoted to the 2015-2016 Palladian Series lineup right here at the Clayton Center. And no one better to discuss that with you than our own Executive Director. Joining me today, please welcome Scotty Henley. Well, Scotty, welcome to Spotlight on Clayton. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for being here. Well, it's great to be here. What do you want to know? What well, you, like you know, I think our viewers are very excited about what you have in store for the Clayton Center of Palladian Series this year. So why don't you just start giving us a sneak preview as to what's going to take place? A sneak preview, okay. Uh -huh. Well, we're going to start off October 24th, the great Annie Moses Band. Now, they're, besides being the most gorgeous family that you could ever have on a stage, which just kind of makes you a little ill, yeah. um, they are Juilliard trained musicians, so you think in classical but they know that not everybody jives on the classical set so they're throwing a little bluegrass in there so you take your Gershwin songs and you throw the bluegrass tempo into it and then they meld it together and they perform it here on stage and it's it's just beautiful and it's just rhythmic and it just gets everybody and thrived and talking about the music so you know if we wanted to hear a little bit of it I'm sure we could just a, a quick list of it what yeah let's hear a little Annie Moses Now you see what I mean? She's how, amazing. How rhythmic they are, how enthused they are about their music. I mean, they, these are people that work at this music, but they just love playing it, and they're going to bring it here to this stage. So it's going to be a wonderful night. Their passion wonderful really night. shows. Oh, it really does. No really doubt. Does. Hmm. Tell me what else is next. Well, right after that, we're going to go into November. I think it's November seventh. In fact, it is November seventh. We got Frank Vignola and Vinny Raniola, two wonderful Italian names. Uh, Frank is a, a long-standing record within the music industry as far as his playing with other musicians, but probably his, his best-known time period was Les Paul, playing at the Hyperion Club in New York. And Les, after he got a little more age on him and, and the arthritis, he'd play like one night a week, so Frank would play with him. But he would also play at other nights through there. So he, he cut his chops there as a kid and learned the whole jazz routine. And then he, he gravitated with getting to trios and brought in Vinnie Raniola, who's a great rhythm guitarist and a great guitarist on his own. He has his own albums and, and pr presentations out there. But just two fun guys who make it very simplistic looking, but you know it's not. You look at their fingers moving. Well, in fact, we've got a clip of it. Why don't we show that real quickly? Let's check that out. see how quickly they move and this was like early in the morning I think at uh, one of those uh, PBS stations in San Francisco where it's like you're getting there at six o'clock in the morning and they're asking them to do Flight of the Bumblebee. Isn't that amazing? And he's already ready to go for it. And he even makes a comment this early but didn't stop it. Goes right into it. And they're just a, a beautiful group of guys man. Just I, beautiful. I think for the people who attend that one it's going to be one of those shows that you're never going to forget about. <laughs> Most definitely, and also, it just, I think for those who enjoy studying guitar or want to know a little bit more, uh, it'd be a great place for them to, to pick up a few little uh, tidbits or techniques, but I know that Frank's also really great about talking to you and just you know, passing on what he thinks you could do to improve your skills. Oh, that's fantastic. So great after the, after the show, come back and talk to them. Kind of Entertainment, kind of educational, mm -hmm. right here at the Clayton Center. Most definitely. Most fantastic. Definitely. Yeah. So what could get better than that? What's, on, what's next? Christmas. Oh, it's the holiday time. The holiday time. Christmas Spectacular. Lar. Lar. Spectacular. <laughs> it's because it's the three redneck tenors. Don't <gasps> let the name scare you. Three redneck tenors. Um, opera based, obviously. But three guys, really, the first guy, Matt, who started off the tenors, uh, he knew that, you know, not opera, opera wasn't for everybody. So instead of you know forcing you and cramming it down your throat and hoping that you're going to enjoy it or if through osmosis you're going to somehow pick it up, right? He created these characters, um, and they basically they put on these wigs, these and they have the mullet, almost like my haircut right now, <laughs> and 
they, they come out and they look as if they are from the trailer park. And they'll do first off theme songs from classic TV shows that we all know from, but they're just showing off their skills as well as portraying this trailer park kind of um, um, setup uh, of where they, they, he based these characters on. Um, but what's unique about it is that you'll take an intermission and come back and they have their tuxedos on now. They'll talk a little bit about their education. Most of them are also Juilliard voice trained and they'll give a little bit more flavor of what they can do operatically. So in fact, I think we have a little bit of a clip for them too. So if you don't mind, let's, yeah, let's this take a look at that. Yeah, this great. Three redneck tenors, a musical adventure. I got a hold of a pot of gold bonanza With a rope and a saddle and a wrench full of cattle How rich can a fella be? For since my the day we filed the Ponderosa name Here in the West we're living the best bonanza If anyone finds any one of us, he's gonna fight with me So as you can see, the controllability that they have with their voice is, is incredible. It's an amazing talent. The other thing that's really unique or incredible for me is because I got to meet Matt about five or six years ago when I hosted him at another location I was at. And at that time, him and his business partner had been funding that whole show on their credit cards. Oh my God. Yeah. And so that day that they're rehearsing in my, that theater I was at, he gets a phone call that they got picked up for 32 weeks at the Andy Williams Theater in uh, Branson, Missouri. The jubilation they had, throwing up their hands going, now we can finally pay off our credit cards. Oh, and they, that, that show that night was just even pushed even farther because they knew that they had something like a home free. And they've been doing that now for about, I think the last five years, they've had 32 weeks booked in Branson. So he's, it's also given him time to create other variations of the three redneck tenors besides their Christmas show. Fantastic. So it's gonna be, I know for some people that might kind of get them in their head about redneck in there, it's just a ploy. You gotta come see it. They're funny. They're entertaining, they got great voices. You'll, if you didn't come, your friends will be talking about it and you're gonna wish you'd have been here. That's gonna be one of those shows that none of you are gonna to wanna to miss out on. You're gonna to need to call in or go online and order your tickets early for the three redneck tenors right here at the Clayton Center. Most definitely, most definitely. Okay, so that's three for three, I'm three. psyched. January, because we've had so much going on for those three, we're gonna take a break. <laughs> Good we idea. need to take a break. But come February, we're gonna get back in the swing of it. I think it's February the 13th, Frank D'Ambrosio. And so it's, you know, the day before Valentine's Day, so let's get the people in the romantic mood ready yes, for that. all about love. All about love. And Frank is a, a Broadway singer, but his, his claim to fame is a couple of levels. One, he's the longest standing traveling or touring fan of the opera, wow. the lead. He's also uh, been in The Godfather Three. He played one of the Corleone uh, sons. He sings the, the theme song for that show. Um, and now that he's in his sort of, uh, you know, I guess, third phase of his career, performing live on stage with mainly just a pianist, he does these outreach programs too, where he'll go to a community and he will find a singing group and, and find uh, one person who gets voted on and work with them that day and have them come on the stage and perform. Now I'm teasing all this, I wish we could do it here, but because of the routing and where they have to be the next day, and I was, it was, kind of pulling teeth to get him for us on that day. He's not gonna be able to do that program, but I just wanted to highlight the kind of person he is. He's, 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 he's done well, so he's not looking to uh, vast his ego anymore. He wants to help others who would like to obtain uh, some of the, the good fortune that he's had. And in fact, uh, I think there's a little bit of a clip with him on a stage where he's performing uh, some of these Broadway tunes that he'll be playing for us that night. Well, let's check that out. Eight million Yanks have jumped into the fray, and there's more on the way. There are Yanks from the banks of the Wabash. So if you notice in that clip, the presence that man has, I mean, every movement to like his pinky finger coming out, it's all in, in, the, in the intensity of that song, his feeling for the words. So he's just not, he's just not bursting out these lyrics. He's feeling everything that he sings. So that sometimes, you know, that creates a mood and sometimes can make people a little scared, but it's just his passion for the music that he has also. So again, I think a big winner right before Valentine's Day uh, for the men who maybe not want to have to go out on Valentine's Day because I think it's a Sunday, but would like to go on the Saturday and make some uh, bonus points with their 
their wives or their girlfriends, I think they should come here that night. Exactly. A lot of passion found here February 13th at the Clayton Center. You bet. You bet. And I don't know if we're going to be able to clean up after all that. I'm not sure. <laughs> And then we're because we're going to switch into uh, let's see that's February we're going to go into March and uh, a great time frame Leroy Parnell one of the greatest the best really slide guitarist that country rhythm and blues traditional music has ever had to, and to us to have him here on this stage wow what an honor for us oh it, it is for me because I grew up um, with my parents who listened to a lot of country music and rhythm and blues and rockabilly and listening to him and I think the thing that kicked it off for me is and, and I think if people go back and look, Mary Chapin Carpenter had a song called Shut Up and Kiss Me. He's the guy playing the slide guitar. He makes that song happen. And she knew it. So anytime that she could get him to go on tour with him, even if it was like a one stop to fly him in, he, and she could do it, she'd bring him into it. And in fact, I think uh, in one of the clips we have here, it's part of a show that she's doing, uh, a conference show or something like that, and he comes out and plays for us. I think we can take a look at that real quick. That's great. Listen up. Leroy Now the great thing about that is, for me, in January, I got to see him in a small club in New York City during this conference, and it was one of those where you're, you're, you're trying to showcase to see if you can get some bookings. And it was early on a, a Sunday morning, so there wasn't many people out there yet, and, and I'm sitting there waiting, waiting for him, and he's kind of milling about, and he sees me, he comes up and introduces himself, and he said, what you brought, what brought you here? And I said, well, you did. And uh, I remember listening to you with my parents and I wanted to see if you still had you know, your, your licks. And he goes, well, I still know three chords. I think I can do it. And, and you darn right he could do it. I bet he could. And he, and he still can. He also does a thing with Delbert McClinton every year, a big um, a cruise tour for a charity. And it's you know, like eight days out and, and go out Florida somewhere and come back. But he performs with them like every day. And, and the guy still got it. He's got his own albums. He sings his own songs. He's played for other people. He's lived a great life and he's still trying to do it all. And, and, and I, I'm grateful he's going to be here. It's and share be all of that talent oh, and all that storytelling. Another, another uh, guitarist, guitarist. So if you're into guitar playing and you want to see how to make these uh, slide riffs, you better come see Leroy because he makes it so smooth, so easy. Fantastic. You wow, could. that's four for four. Well, I think that's five for okay, five. Okay, maybe five for five. <laughs> <laughs> we got one more, one more. We're going to close out the season with a 2015 Grammy Award winner for the best Roots gospel album, Mike Ferris. Now, he was here before. Yes, he was. With the uh, Roseland rhythm section. Um, now, he's got the same players, but it's now Mike Ferris um, for the people. How perfect is that? Very perfect. And to, to look at Mike, you might not symbolize this guy being an artist of a musical set. You might think he's a, a visual artist or something like that. But I think if we listen to this quick clip, you will see and hear the power in this man's vocals. I was born by the river in a little old town, just like that river I've been running ever since. Was that not surprising? A tremendous. And another, another individual who is moved by the passion of the lyrics. And he picks the right musicians, and he's got a great backup singer of uh, three ladies there that really you know, fulfill the little openings that he gives. But you know, it's, that's going to be, you know, we start with Annie and we finish out with Mike. And wow. Mike's just got, the, I think, the closing power for us. You know, not to mention he's a Grammy winner. And if you go on his Facebook page, and you'll see there's a, a clip of him receiving the actual Grammy for him in the box. He's opening it up and just the joy in his face because this is a man who went through some hard times because he got a little hooked up with alcohol and drugs and his, his life was going downwards. And somehow he, he saw that he was in the wrong direction. He stopped it and got himself straightened out and he's here to help entertain us and bring us all the enlightenment that he brings from his own vocal quality. Wow. So we're going to have a wonderful season for 2015 and 16. And if you guys aren't there, because I know he's going to be there. I'm going to be there. If you're not there, your friends and your family and your neighbors are going to be talking about it, and you're going to be out of the loop. You're going to feel like that you didn't get on that website that day. And guess what? You're going to want to be here that night. So, Scotty, I want you to share with our viewers today how they can get tickets to any of the shows coming to this year's uh, Clayton Center. So simple. The easiest thing is to go right to our website. 
go to theclaytoncenter.com and then you can start to peruse our calendar of events. Uh, you can see video clips, you can see stills of the shows, you can read bios of our performers, and if you like them, then you can just go click on the section that says, uh, I wanna buy tickets, and then from there you'll be taken to a site which will show you our seating chart, and you can start picking from that line, and once you've secured where your seats, then you just go through the process of making your payment through a credit card transaction, or if you wanna to talk to somebody, 553-1737, that'll get you to Kathy in the box office, and, and, and that would also be for people who might want to look at like the whole season, like season oh, yeah. tickets. And tell, tell them a little bit about season tickets and the Clayton uh, and, and the Teacher's Lounge. Well, exactly. I'm, for, I'm, I'm sorry I forgot to talk about that. We, what we have is since you have six shows, we, we can sell them to you as a package. If you buy all six, you're going to get a discount of about 15%, which if you Great. do the math, that really equals you getting one show for free based on the economics of scale and how we've priced these tickets. Perfect. Uh, which also bears in mind how we were able to book these uh, the talent because uh, we got them in sort of like a routing path and some of them because they're traveling through the south or they're going from south to north or north to south so we got them at a discount rate. So um, the ticket pricing from that standpoint, like I said, if you buy all six, 15% discount, you're gonna find yourself getting one show for free. You can also pick three. Now that will have about a 15% or not a 15, but a 10% discount. Uh, say you're, you've got uh, conflicts with some of the shows or a few of them just don't sound appealing to you even after you looked at the videos. You can get three and get a discount on that rate. On both of those, the six or pick three, we have something called the teacher's lounge. It's, it's it, because it's an old school, everything is referenced to a, a, as a school. So the teacher's lounge is our pre-meal uh, setup before the show. So about 45 minutes before the shows, well, before the, the doors to the venue open, uh, you can go get a nice meal, have some drinks, visit with friends, meet some new friends, talk about Clayton, talk about your grandkids, talk about everything exactly. else, but what ails you. You're here to have a good time, so let's not, let's not even <laughs> think about that. But you can get a, a, a really nice meal for some great caterers that we have right here in town, right here in Clayton. And, uh, they have been very generous too. They'll do um, a trade with us and so they'll, for a, a fixed amount, they'll prepare our, our meals for you as well as we give them advertising and we like to promote them because Clayton has a lot of great services and businesses and they're the ones right that help, help provide us the ability to have these, these entertainers here. And so uh, I, I also urge, besides our, our public coming to help they see a show, that they, they use our business as our local group because I'm sure they have something that you could utilize and they're the backbone to Clayton really absolutely we have our corporate sponsors. not we do love without small business no but you're absolutely. right right we like I was saying we have our corporate our corporate sponsors and we love them and, and they really do help us out a great deal and they're great citizens for us but our backbone and our strength comes from the local businesses that really that really define Clayton exactly and it's the people that make it happen so we hope you'll join us this year for the 2015-2016 Palladian Series right here at the Clayton Center. And Scotty, thank you for being with us today. My You've pleasure. You've got a great lineup. I know everybody is going to be excited to come and have the experience at the Clayton Center. And one other thing that's really not a part of the Palladian Series, but it is a wonderful happening here at the Clayton Center, is the Clayton Piano Festival. Scotty, you and your team will you know, prepare the stage and everything to help Jonathan Levin oh, and bet. his group come in and really do some amazing, you know, we talked earlier about the guitar, but really to show the talent with the piano, just oh. unbelievable. Oh, it is, and Jonathan, like you said, his, his partners in crime there from the, the, the classical set that come and play their instruments for us, it, you can't believe there's so much talent we have in this world, but the talent that we have that came from Clayton, yeah. Jonathan himself, and his, Phenomenal. Phenomenal, but also just his, his ambition and dedication to want to bring that music back into Clayton and, and building this piano festival as he has. You know, that, that takes a lot of determination because, you know, I'm sure there's been a lot of doors shut in his face, too. And so we're proud to have him here. And it's great to have him and bring his friends and just have an enjoyable evening of classical-based music or even a jazz-based music that they sometimes play for us. It's just, it's going to be a great evening. Exactly. Really so we'll hope you'll join us for not only the Palladian series, but the Clayton Piano Festival with Jonathan Levin. I had the opportunity to speak with him earlier today, and now I'd like to introduce you to Jonathan Levin.
Joining me today is the founder of the Clayton Piano Festival, Jonathan Levins. Jonathan, welcome to Spotlight on Clayton. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. And I want you to tell our audience a little bit about what's going on with the Clayton Piano Festival this year. Okay, well, uh, we'll start things off on the 30th, which is, of course, right before Halloween. So we'll have a uh, Halloween-themed concert and masked ball here at the Wagner House in Clayton. And it includes a dinner and, of course, the concert and then a dessert reception afterwards where you can meet the artist, which is me in this instance. Um, and there'll be a costume contest. Uh, I'm going to dress up. So uh, there'll be best male and female costume. And so if you're a guy, you better bring it because I'm going to be, uh, yeah. Jonathan will be the one to beat. Yes. How about that? Um, so the winners win free tickets to our Thursday night event. So, um, so the next concert after that will be on Sunday afternoon. And it's called In the Gardens of Spain. Uh, and this is dedicated to all Spanish music for piano. And we'll have a special guest, Paul Sanchez, from Baylor University, who's an expert on Spanish music. And he'll be presenting a, a thrilling collection of Spanish music. On Thursday, we have uh, special guest Jana Resnick, who is also a broadcaster and a producer uh, in Chicago. And she's going to present a concert called From Russia with Love. Oh, <laughs> and how it's, about that? It's all um, Russian music. Some of, the, some of our favorite stuff, actually, like Tchaikovsky Nutcracker, Ballet Suite, uh, Rachmaninoff Preludes, things that people know and love. And, um, and then our final concert is actually going to be in Raleigh at Popper Piano Company. It's one of our major sponsors over the years. And um, so this will be uh, a celebration of Beethoven called Beethoven and Why the Piano Matters. So uh, this will have special guest uh, David Duball, who is a renowned author and uh, teacher and pianist and radio show host. He was at uh, WQXR for many years in New York. And um, pianist Michael Bulichev Axer, who is a um, Russian-born pianist. So he'll play uh, the music of Beethoven, and we'll discuss how that relates to us today and how this music is still so alive and a part of uh, our, cultu our culture today. So. That's fantastic. Yeah. So much cultural diversity, so much fun, yeah. but yet music and songs that people will recognize and know, the ones that, that, as you said, that they love and appreciate. Exactly, yeah. That's gonna be fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> so it wouldn't really be complete without giving our audience a little teaser for today. So I'm gonna ask Jonathan, if you would be so kind to step on over to the lovely Baby Grand Piano here at the Clayton Center and share with our group a little bit of your talent. It'd be my pleasure. That would be great. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Levin. This is my own arrangement of a tune from Showboat called Can't Help Loving That Man.
Lots of exciting things happening this coming year at the Clayton Center. And Scotty, I want to thank you so much for joining oh, us today. You thank did such you. a great job for the town of Clayton. Your staff is out of this world. Aren't they? And we're going to encourage every one of you to come and join us for the 2015-2016 Palladian Series right here at the Clayton yeah. Center. Until next time, I'm your host, Clayton Mayor Jody McLeod. Thank you.